Welcome to London. This is a city of 12 million people and at one point it was the biggest city in the world. You probably know it for landmarks like Tower Bridge just behind me or the Tower of London, but this is a very diverse city and has tons to see. So let's go through together and explore some of the areas. London's most emblematic squares. You've probably heard of it. It's Trafalgar Square and there's a really good vibe here today. We're singing with the English National Opera Community Choir. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We're in yet another famous square. This is Leicester Square, and this is where everyone comes to line up for the premieres. And just yesterday, they premiered The Hobbit. People, even in the cold, will line up and wait to see their very favorite actors. You can also find casinos and nightclubs, making it a popular place on Friday and Saturday nights. But the most fun is chatting with the street performers. Well, I have an acoustic guitar and that. I'm just uh, playing some songs. I play covers. I haven't been here for ages, actually, so I've just turned up today, really, this evening. Will you play us a song? Yeah, all right then. To spare you the agony, I remove the sound. I'm in the famous Covent Garden, and this is a great place to come and see the Christmas markets and also to hear some opera. to East London. I'm at Old Street, which marks the beginning of the city's East End. This street may actually have originated in Roman times, in which case it's earned its name. The area is a bit of a mix of rundown and modern. Quite a few IT companies and startup businesses have set up their offices here, earning it the name Silicon Roundabout. Nearby, you can find graffiti from famous artists like Banksy and Jeff Aerosol. Let's go take a look. Graffiti first started to appear in London in the early 80s, soon after the birth of hip-hop culture in New York. Since then, London streets have become a canvas for artwork. As we walk around, we can spot a number of trends, like the Space Invaders. If you take the time to examine the pictures, many of them have social and political messages. A lot of it is quite controversial. Municipalities and building owners often paint over the art, even the ones that are made by world-famous artists. So if you find new graffiti, take a good look and enjoy it while it lasts. I bought a uh, Dahlia, an East Ender, to the West End, over here. This is Notting Hill Gate. It's one of the main roads. It actually takes you straight down to Bayswater and Hyde Park. And this is kind of like lots of boutiques, restaurants, shops. And you can see here, Jamie Oliver's opened his most recent mix of cafe, restaurant, and cookery shop. <laughs> Lucky penny, but nothing in here costs a penny because you've got pies and things for about five quid. So, London, very expensive city, especially West London, but if you're a cinema, cinema fan, this is a treat. The Coronet Cinema is an old theatre and it's been converted to a cinema. And they have weekday deals so you can go watch all the brand new releases for about three or four pounds. And it's actually really nice inside because they've kept the uh, old theatre setting. So, you've got the stalls, you've got the balcony. It's really cozy, so I recommend that. So London likes to think of itself as the, the food capital of Europe because you get all kinds of cuisine here. And just on this road you can get Italian, Spanish, Arabic, Thai, and um, yeah, chefs from all over the world come here. And people in London just love eating out. We're here at one of the Royal China branches. There's one on Baker Street and one around uh, Swiss Cottage. And it's very popular. It's the best Chinese food in London. Um, if you come here on a Sunday morning, it's packed because everyone's having dim sum and uh, duck and pancakes and plum sauce. It's delicious. Bienvenido in Mexico, señorita. Westmore Road, loco mexicano. Here, a beautiful party, a mucha fiesta, señorita. Muchas gracias. Are you Italian? Yeah, Italian. 
X Factor semi finalist. Let's hear you sing. I can't sing. My mate in there can sing. The one with the, one with the bald head. See him? See him? See him going like that? This isn't my dad. Have you met my dad? Boy, sing. you are a good boy most of the time. <laughs> but occasionally you meet the ladies, and some of the ladies, they have naughty bonds. I'm sorry about him. He's, a, he's, he's very embarrassing. Do these have the naughty bonds? Do you have the naughty bonds? <laughs> so we're just about 10 days away from Christmas and Christmas tree shopping is taken very, very seriously. <laughs> As you can see, people negotiating for the price of a Christmas tree. Oh, 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 oh. Hi, Dahlia, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm very good. Merry Christmas from Santa Claus. Well, thanks for coming to London with me. We're definitely going to have to come back because there's tons more for us to see. You can come to London and you can do lots of random things. For example, have some melted ice cream or some smoothie. Or you can even bump into random foreigners like this girl here. Camera, because I mean, I mean it from the heart. <laughs>